Hi, welcome back. My name is Ru Yi. Today's video is on a topic that I've really been wanting to do for the longest time ever. If not, it was the first video that I actually wanted to do. It's about note taking for bar school and how I did it. You know, note taking is sort of a very personal thing, no one size fits all method. But today I'm just gonna share what worked for me. Hopefully, today you'll get to take away a thing or two and implement something into your own personal way of note taking. So, some questions that I've received. The first one is Do I prefer digital note taking or physical note taking? For me personally, I've always been someone who prefers writing things down. So I always have a notebook with me and I always take down notes physically. And that was what I was doing when bar school first started. I was writing things down on paper, preparing, doing my essential reading and taking notes with a pen and paper. But then it sort of became way too much and I was falling behind my readings. And my classes were all online. So when the tutor was saying something on Zoom, I had to take it down on like Microsoft Word on my laptop. And after class, I would then have to port it over into my notes. That in itself was taking me so much time. And slowly, I just transitioned to just digital note taking. And because I wasn't an iPad note taker, I didn't have the time to sort of transition and learn how to use all the apps. I've been seeing people who are taking notes on iPad and it looks amazing but I just didn't know how to do it. So I've always been a Google Docs user. A lot of people judge me for that but I just love the convenience. I love that I can share it with my friends and work on it all together at the same time. I know you can you do that on Microsoft Word but I'm just used to Google Docs. Um. So just, just to share a few things on how I did it digitally. This is how I organize my notes on Google Drive according to my modules. Drafting, legal research and opinion writing. No particular reason why I arranged it like that, but yes, in no order. So for civil litigation, I folders by week uh, um, according to how City ran the course. I always named that this is something I learned from my pro bono volunteering. Always name it with the year, the month, and the day, and then the title of the folder because it just helps you organize things in chronological order. So this is the earliest, our first week, second week, and next, 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 next. Um, so for example, in this, in every single folder, I will have our class preparation our readings so don't i'm not sure if this is the best way to do it but before classes when i'm doing the pre-reading i didn't do it on the physical white book itself i went to westlaw and i copy pasted every single rule that was relevant and part of our essential readings so that i have a document combined that has all our readings in it this this is our essential readings and these are our essential readings so that I can control F and search for something not just during class but also after class during revision I just love to have things digitally so this is how I organize my class material weekly and I also have uh, notes uh, which is because after all the weeks that you've gone through sort of during the revision period, you'd want to consolidate everything. So this is where I consolidate my notes, week 1 to week 8, week 9 to 11, week 12 to 15. And they look something like this in the end. So this is week... Um, oh, <laughs> please ignore this, but these are the stickers that I downloaded for my own use. And then I have a table of contents. These are all the essential readings that is part of the syllabus. So, and, and I can click on them, but they will direct me directly to the relevant portion. So I sort of created my own digital book. Um, these are all, this is basically a compilation of the essential reading because what civil lit and criminal lit is basically the whole syllabus is the essential reading from the white book and the Blackstone criminal practice. So as long as you make sure that you have read and understood the rules, you'll be fine. How to take effective notes that's just for myself and this is my own timetable revised 
two weeks worth of materials in one day which is not a realistic um, timeline but at that time it was desperate time and exam was so close so that was I had to do what I had to do mm, this is my checklist so right after I'm done with something I can just take it and it will strike out so time limits this is the essential reading um, blue is a summary of the time limit I have one section at the very top time limits relevant for this chapter and then for every rule, under part 32 for example, part 32.1, these are the summary of the rules. So I write everything down and I put it and I change the background to yellow colour. Actually, I don't remember how did I do it again. I think it was... Please don't judge me, I always go to help. And, oh yeah, page colour. You can change it here. You can change it to landscape as well. And you can change and you can select which section does it apply to. Honestly, I think I can give a master class on how to use Google Doc and I totally did not search up. Best way to take effective notes on Google Docs on YouTube. But there are some very limited helpful videos out there. So this is on my civil lid. When the information is hard to digest, I also draw tables and put on icons to make my life more interesting because it can get dry sometimes. So this is civil lid and then right after I'm done Basically, all the information is in my mind. For those that it's hard to digest, I'll print it out and highlight and read and read and read. So I'll also include screenshots from our learning materials. But yeah, it's basically just a compilation of all the important rules. No, all the rules, not just important, but all the rules that is part of our essential reading. So I will have a box with the rule in full. And then blue colour is a summary of this rule. Blue colour is a summary of the rule. So that whenever I'm running out of time, I could just read the blue colour. And I'll also include headers that is easier to understand so that I don't have to read the entire thing in order to understand what it's talking about. I'll just read, oh blue, that is what this rule is about. And so on top of that, for civil lit, I, because I'm a physical person, I print out the notes and then I also note it down on paper so that it's easier for me to remember. This is my civil lit notes, <laughs> my essential readings and this is how my physical notes look like. So I print out the essential readings, I highlight it, it's just basically doing everything in my power in order to, you know, understand. Circle, highlight, anything that helps so on top of that digital notes which is a compilation a textbook of the civil procedure rules i also have my notes is there anything important about the notes and the, as law students all have sticky notes in different colors maybe pink is for time limits blue is for the important rules yellow is just additional points for you to remember so I'm so sorry, there's no certainty to my answer, whether digital or physical. To me, it's a hybrid of both because I prefer physical, but the information was way too overwhelming for it to be fully physical. It's just simply not sustainable. So it's a combination of both. I do the same for criminal, by the way. I guess if, uh, if anything, one important tip is to... I don't... I mean, traditional notebook didn't really work for me because you would be revising sometimes backwards, sometimes chapter 1, chapter 5, chapter 8, and then back to chapter 2 and chapter 5. So it wouldn't necessarily work for you to uh, have a traditional notebook and go from chapter 1 to chapter 8, or it's going to mess up the order, leaving 5 pages, but sometimes 5 pages is not enough, you know, first world problems. So I recommend using a file or any folders that you could add paper and slot things in between. That would be a helpful tip and also as far as you can just try to take notes into your white book as early as you can and i've shared some tips previously on how i take notes and how i make use of my white book i'm gonna link it or i'll just put in the card i'm not sure if i know how to do it or i'll link it down in the description box below please do check that out i think the video is very very useful just skip to wherever part that is relevant for you. 
but just very briefly at the very begin at the very start of each part in the civil procedure rule so for example here you would know which part is part of your syllabus and i'll just highlight them in yellow which rule is part of the syllabus so for your open book paper at least if i know oh this chapter i mean this question is definitely under part six so i'll just flip to the table of content and i'll see which rule is part of our syllabus and i'll just dive right into the rule and read them and not necessarily be so lost and think oh my god there are like 52 different rules under part six which one should i look at and as if that's not enough i also have a sticky note that writes down all the rules that is part of our essential reading and is part of our syllabus and also the commentary paragraphs that is part of our syllabus because it's super important for our paper too. My sites are all the parts that is part of the syllabus and the top is all the time limits. The bottom is all the case law that is relevant for civil lit. Yeah, so that's for civil and I do the same for criminal litigation. I'm gonna pause it for here and I'll share how I take notes for the advocacy classes. Oh, let's just before we wrap up for civil and criminal. Um, for ethics, it's the same. For ethics, it's just basically also all the relevant rules that is part of our syllabus. And then I would add on um, notes from our learning materials that is important. And also notes uh, or the mistakes that I've made from our from the past papers that I've done. Yeah. Ethics was sort of fully digital and once I'm done with all my notes with ethics, I just printed them out and I started just highlighting, circling, underlining the paper so that I, I'm a visual learner and that's how I learn better. So that's ethics, crim and civil. Hopefully, you found something helpful in this and will be able to incorporate a thing or two into your own note-taking method. Um, if you guys are interested, I would be more than happy to share how I took notes for the advocacy classes because I, I, I personally was quite lost and I didn't know what's the best way to take notes of all the pointers that the tutors pointed out in our classes and how do we incorporate it in our next advocacy sessions. So if you're interested, just drop a comment down below, I guess, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!